Once you do great sketches, you need to do equally great line work. I'm gonna show you some techniques I use to line up my sketches. All right, so for line work, you wanna make sure that you have all your rough sketches and everything is sketched out, and you wanna make sure you have enough information to do the line work. So you wanna make sure that you can see the lines above. So you wanna make sure that you lighten up your, uh, your sketch layer enough. We'll go with, we'll go with Disney ink. It's one of my, one of my favorite brushes. All right. So it's important to kind of, it's important to kind of get the big movements at once. It'll look better if there's like a flow to it. If there's a flow to everything that you're doing, it'll, uh, it shows. And I'm also making adjustments to certain things where I don't have a lot of information like this eye, then I make whatever changes, whatever changes I need to make. Fill in some of these black, black areas here. And this brush is also pressure sensitive, so um, you kind of vary them. Like the top of the line is really dark. I always make the bottom line uh, a little lighter. I might darken it up later on as we go, but for now, it's okay to be light. And you kind of just have to you kind of just have to feel out what what looks right to you and what feels right. his little eyelids. Now for this I want to do one, I want to try to get everything in one long movement. And for these bits I really want to, I really want to do them fast. And that's by design. This brush is not, like, it's very pixelated, but that's why I like, uh, that's why I like the Disney brush. It just gives it a, an interesting look. So this is also a process of simplifying. You do your really rough sketch in the thicker in the thicker red. I use Sketchmaster too. You can download all these brushes in the description. And then you do I don't know what that noise is. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out in the editing. But you want to make sure that you do the right amount of uh, sketches. So I usually do a really, really rough sketch just to kind of get the shapes. And then I do another sketch after that to kind of clean up and give me all this information. And that is the cat messing around with stuff by my legs. And
And the main thing is you just want to like try to keep everything simple. Like you don't have to, you don't have to hit every single little tiny detail. Just make it, make it simple. And there's also certain things that with time you'll learn, like, for example, this finger is closer to us, so that's why this line is, this line is here. So having this line here, it kind of shows that all this is the bottom of his arm. It kind of gives that, that space. Same thing with this line here. Uh, it makes a big difference. Uh, if you have this line here, I mean, it could probably still work, but uh, this kind of all shows that this is that this is all the bottom of his arm. All that with just this this line extending. Hopefully that makes sense. Same thing with like how his body comes to his arm. The reason why I'm using this uh, this line is because this part of his arm is, is going behind his body. If this line was coming here, then this would be in front of the body, and that wouldn't make sense. Um, but you'll learn that more with, with time, the more that you uh, draw and design characters. Let me draw his little teepees. I don't know if I should... Sometimes I usually just wait. You know what, I think I might... Um... You know what, I'll just draw them. I'll probably wind up erasing the teeth later on. Because they're such a small, they're so small, and obviously they're usually white or a very light color, so I don't usually keep the outline. Alright, I'm moving this box because I'm sure that's going to be picked up on the mic. Excellent new mic that picks up everything. Yeah, this brush I actually... I'm not sure what um, what I did to, to tweak it. And I'm not sure why I call it a the Disney brush. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's just something about it that... To me, seems to have that feel of... Um, Disney style sketches. For these like little textured bits, I usually just try to do them real fast and I don't I don't try to think too much about it. Let's see, I probably have to do this tail in a few different strokes. It's super long. It's not bad. So you, it kind of takes time as well to kind of uh, you know, to be able to focus and really get, really get your, your strokes down, but you will get it. The more you, the more that you do it, you will sort of figure out how to, uh, how to get better. For me, what I need to do is I just make my canvas really big. Like literally my, when I'm just to draw this line, which is you know, not that big, but I make it really big. That way I can do really long strokes like that. And it seems to, for me, it's it, it helps a lot. And again, I just try to keep everything nice and simple.
add little little bits of uh, things like that just to kind of show that there's you know little like hairs and you know just to kind of maintain that it actually has some texture Alright, so this leg is on the inside, so I'm going to and, and I'm just simplifying all these all these lines and everything I've done, I'm just simplifying it. I don't know why this, these nails are so much bigger on this side, but it kind of looks funny, so I'll just fix it and just make them smaller. You know, always keep your eye out for just things like that. I mean, they're, they're clearly, they're not, they're not perfect, but um, now that I said that, I feel like I need to fix it, but that's okay. Do a faint line just to show where the uh, where the color would go, but I can actually still use the the sketch for the for the colors. I don't actually have to make the lines. Okay, so I think I think we're doing pretty well there. I think we got most of the detail. Let's see what it looks like. And this is my and this is my line work. So in the next video, I will uh, start coloring this guy, and I'll just show you a few different methods of how I uh, would color in line work.